We're gonna use the so rep, we're gonna get into the mid part of our back and even get into this outer part of our back, but focusing more on the mid, not the lower. We're gonna do both peaks to begin with. We're just shifting our body side to side. Make keeping pressure so the so right doesn't fall on the ground. We're getting close to the spine, not on the spine. And doing little shakes, little shakes here, going up and down nice and slow. And then I can, since I've got my left peak closer to the spine here, it allows this right peak to be closer more to the outer part of my back. And I can start to do this little shimmy and now I can be able to get into now this outer part of our lap, which sometimes and a lot of times can cause a lot of shoulder issues. So this is a nice little alternative to on the ground or even on the chair, but just getting into this area, this is something too that you can be able to get into when you're um, having any type of shoulder issues. Go to the shoulder, shoulder pain course. There'll be a lot of different massages to help with this area, to help with cleaning up this area. All right, now we can be able to go this way on the wall or this way. This way can also feel really nice and be able to get that whole middle part of your back. And then it's a different feeling too, because now the peaks are running perpendicular to your back instead of vertical with your back. And I can apply the same movement, same stuff into when we're sitting on the chair. Now we're going to get more into the outer part. We're going to turn it on our side and then we're placing that peak right onto that outer muscle there, which can cause a lot of issues into that shoulder just range of motion wise, and you can feel the difference when you press into it. When you press into it, it's shortening up the muscle. So when I press into it, then I can really feel the decrease in range of motion when that muscle's being tight. And that could be your problem. Do some rotational stuff. Remember, explore with the peaks. There's other muscles too that are coming into this lower part of the shoulder, outer part of the back. So just press around, explore. You shouldn't feel, there are, there are some trigger points, some really tender muscles that don't get a whole lot of range of motion and don't get a whole lot of um, massage. A lot of people neglect that area because it is really tender, so they don't keep massaging. So you just find those areas that are tender, don't overdo it, don't press too hard. And then just work your way and you'll get a nice release.